Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today we're in our vegan and we're looking at the RB05A air to ground missile. Um, so this missile, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's a copy under license of the American Bullpop missile. So this is a missile, it doesn't have self uh, guidance, instead you basically dumb fire it in front of you and then the pilot controls it with a small uh, joystick inside the cockpit and guides it by eye and because of that it has a big red and white flare on the back of the missile and you basically just look through the window and guide it by eye and that therefore it makes it really really fun to use and in DCS having fun is more important than effectiveness I find so I like to use it wherever I can uh, so we're going to go to the arming screen where we can only put them on pylons 3 and 5 uh, missiles RB05A. Uh, I don't know why you can't carry um, four of them. Maybe because they're too heavy or something. I don't know. But you can only carry two, which is a bit annoying because I would like to carry four. Um, so let's arm that up. Uh, like everything in the Vigan, um, it's once you know how it's super simple, and these are extremely simple. They don't even require any setup. So the master mode you can basically leave in nav and fire with nav. Um, the weapon selector you can literally just leave in its default position, uh, position the SJO plan position if you want and you're pretty much good to go regards buttons um, let's see what we've got um, like all weapons in the Vigan you have to fire it you have to hold down trigger safety bracket and then to actually fire the weapon then hold uh, weapon release at the same time and uh, now because we're going to be controlling it with our uh, little joystick in the cockpit we've got some keys I've set up for that uh, so you've got these keys uh, RB05 stick pitch up down left and right. I didn't have any space left on my HOTAS joystick for those so I've actually put them on the keyboard instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire, I'm going to control the aircraft with my with the control stick and then I'm going to use my left hand on the keypad, on the numpad basically to, to guide the missile. Okay, so let's let that rearm. Okay, there they are. Um, I believe they communicate with the mothership via radio signals. I'm not actually sure of the range of them, but I'm guessing around 5 miles, so don't fire from absolutely miles away. Um, I'll show you the rough range that I fire them at. We don't have any ranging information, we could set a waypoint on the target, but you don't have to, and I haven't done in this case. Right, so let's get going. Mill power, brake on, brake off, stage 2 burner, and go. Rotate, gear up, full burn. Get a bit of altitude. I like to um, dive down on the target at about 10 to 20 degrees for this missile. Okay. Let's level off and see what we can find. Right, let me know if you can see a ship anywhere. There's one. A lovely big tanker. So let's get some speed up so we can um, increase the energy on the uh, shot. The faster I'm going, the longer range, the longer the range the missile will have, basically. Okay, and we're pretty much good to fire. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it in the standard way. I'm going to hold the safety and then press the weapon release. It's going to fire directly in front of me, and I'm going to use the flare on the back of it as a guidance signal to guide it with my control keys. Uh, now there's going to be a, um, a, a, a want to put your autopilot on either an attitude hold or um, or altitude hold and uh, release your hand from the right stick. However, I find that uh, not a very good idea. I find that you want to maneuver your plane to ensure that you can keep this the target in the cockpit and, um, and decently visible. So um, I like to keep flying the plane and just use my left hand to guide the missile. So let's get a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna fire a little above the target to kind of loft the shot a little and fire. And now we're going to guide it with our controls. Let's see if we can hit this blighter. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Boom! Hey, we got him. First shot. Not bad. And that is one dead ship. And because we've got another missile, and this is incredibly good fun, I advise that everyone in the world go and buy a Vigan and do this. The old weapons are always the best. MiG-21 and it's um, Chrom Missile, Vegan, and it's RB05, Bullpop are the best things in DCS at the moment.
Right, uh, now one thing you notice there, I was getting a little bit low, so uh, we're going to go for a bit of a steeper approach this time. I always say dive in about, well, about 20 degrees, I think, if you can. Okay, let's go and have a look for our man. Where are you, chap? There you are. Same thing, let's get him in the, in the rough bore sight of our HUD. We're going to aim above him so we can loft the missile a little. Zoom in. Let's get a little bit closer. And fire the missile. And guide. Down, down, down. Down a little, down a little, down a little, down a little. Start to level it out. Right, where is it? I've lost it. It's, it's above it. Oh, I missed. Noob error. Uh, so it can be it can be a little finicky. Uh, it takes a little while to get used to. You have to get used to the range and how long you think the missile is going to be. Uh, but it's good sport and good fun. Um, so go and try it. I haven't really got anything else to say. I know some people can. You can use it uh, with, in combination with the radar of the air-to-air the air radar of the aircraft to fire it at slow-moving aircraft. However, it's primarily an air-to-ground missile, so I'm not going to show that because it's a little bit silly. Um, I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.